James, don't be too nasty to those caterpillars now. I know you look after them very well, but they're young and, well, you know what teenagers are like. They never want to listen. So good luck with that. But, of course, we've got a beautiful big buffalo bull. Here we go. A little bit annoyed by all of the flies. You can see when he shakes his body. Uh, or fly off of him. Ah, there we go. That's a perfect stick for a nice scratch. And he looks like he's actually just coming into the prime of his uh, life at the moment. He's just starting to develop a dewlap, and his horns are lovely and sharp at the tips. And he's got a couple of ox peckers hanging around on his body too. And I wonder if after this he's not going to go towards Buffalo Dam, which we've just come from. And unfortunately, our friends, the elephants, didn't join us at the dam. They moved off. But it would be a good spot for this boy to go and wallow around for most of the day. There you go. Very annoying. I think that's a combination of the ox pecker and the flies. Hello, boy. Why are you giving us the death stare this morning? You can see, look at that, staring straight down his nose. He was, lo he was looking at us. Now he's listening to something else. And it's always quite intimidating, I think, being out here on your own when you are a buffalo. But I'd be a bit n nervous of him because he's an exceptional size. And, well, he doesn't look like the friendliest character. Come on, boy, we're not going to bother you. <laughs> look at how deep his horns go. Isn't that beautiful? The way they sort of dive down and then curve back around again. Oh, he's a strong boy. Now, oh, this is a character you wouldn't want to meet on foot. It's okay, big boy. We're not bothered by you, and I hope that you're not too bothered by us either. Maybe he's had a run-in with somebody this morning, and that's why he's a little bit on edge. You carry on. You go and have a little sit-down and cool off in the water. He's got, he looks like he's got a bit of a temper. But a beautiful buffalo. And he's actually quite lucky because if his horns had actually curved up any more back towards the boss, so a big helmet on top of his head, they wouldn't be very useful as a weapon. Just because it's nice to have a gap between the tip of the horns and the boss so that if a lion were to attack you, at least he'd have a chance to try and hook his horns into a lion. And as, as sad as that sounds, they've also got to try and protect themselves. And you'll often see buffalo throwing them up into the air. But every now and then you'll get a buffalo that's horns have curved too much and then they really are quite useless. But not him. <laughs> He's probably giving us an evil eye, hey? Eh? 